my name's Art John, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make one of these. It's really easy. If this is your first time here, then my name is Art John. I'm an artist and an educator, and this channel is all about giving away years and years of art experience so that you can have activities that are and these can be done with your whole class or your children at home. So if that sounds ace to you, make sure you subscribe. So this activity is all about op art, which was a movement in art that used color, shape, and pattern to create pictures that would create a physical reaction in the viewer. And so for example, if I was to go to a gallery right now and I was to look at a landscape, I might feel joy, I might feel a sense of calm. And if I was to go see a picture of war, I might feel excited, I might feel scared, I might feel upset. But when you stand in front of an op art piece of artwork, you can often feel dizzy, confused, and you can see a sense of movement. Often it looks like the painting is moving in front of your eyes or that something is jumping out of the canvas. And that's one of the reasons why young people love op art. Just Google it, you'll find out all about the history of the movement and the artists involved with it. But one of the things that you might not find is an activity that you can do with your pupils that's simple enough that everyone will have success, but is exciting and looks really great. So that's where this picture comes in, because although, I mean, look at it, it looks brilliant, doesn't it? But it's not as difficult as it looks. In fact, it's incredibly simple to make. All you need is a ruler, a pencil, and a felt tip pen, and about 45 minutes to an hour. And this activity will build on key skills that we want to develop in our people, such as how to use a ruler, and we all know how much we want our pupils to improve their ruler skills, but it will also help them with shape, with pattern, and composition. Now I could go on for ages about why we should be making this picture, but actually, let's just get on with making it so you can make it with your pupils. So I would begin by drawing a small border on your paper. This is not essential, so if you don't have time, just scrap this part, but it is worth doing as it gives the picture a little bit more of a professional look. Right, this is where it really gets started. Draw a simple shape on your paper. Don't make it tiny, but also leave plenty of room around it. I'm doing a triangle, but any shape will work. In fact, circles look wicked. Once your shape is done, repeat the shape around the first one, but each time make it a little bit larger. Keep doing this as if you're filling the entire page and carrying on beyond the edges. Take your ruler and draw vertical lines across the paper and mix up the gaps so that some are wide and some are thin and it does not matter which order you do this in. And this is where it all comes together. Use a felt tip pen, any strong color will do, and fill in the shapes in each column, remembering to leave every other shape blank. A bit like a chessboard or a floor in a 1980s kitchen. Then do the same in all the other columns, but remember to change the filled and empty spaces each time. In art terms, you would call these negative and positive spaces. Ooh. Come on, look at that. It's brilliant, easy, and looks great on display, especially when there are 30 of them. Now the thing is you don't need to use a triangle like I have used in mine. You can use any shape you like, it will look great. I mean, circles look really good, rectangles and squares look really good. Experiment, because any shape that you do use is going to get great results. All right, so if this tutorial floated your boat, then I have another one to watch here. And while you're here, hit my big face to subscribe to my channel.